Hi, thought I'd do a quick video on packaging technology because, well, it's a rather fascinating bit of product design and engineering. And this is a uh, 70 inch, it's a Kogan grown, which is like an Australian brand. Um, anyway, everyone who lives in Australia will know about uh, Kogan. Um, a guy who started from his garage, by the way, Ruslan uh, Kogan, who, b by the way, outbid me for the rights to uh, the Dick Smith head, the, the Dick Smith uh, brand and the Dick Smith head. Anyway, that's another story. Um, yeah, Kogan, um, so it's a no name. If you know who actually manufactures the Kogan well, this particular Kogan's 70-inch um, uh, TV, let me know. Anyway, it's the KA LED 70XU 9210STA for those playing along at home. I thought I'd just unbox this and show you the packaging technology which goes into uh, transporting a modern TV. This is nothing new, but I don't think anyone's actually discussed it before, have they? It, it's fascinating. So you have obviously have to transport uh, these large screen, in this case 70 inch uh, TV, and you have to not only protect them, but then you have to uh, avoid the dumbass customer like me actually damaging the TV when you get it out of the box, because that can be a bad customer experience. They likely try and return it. And, and like, it, you know, these sorts of things are like, they could easily like fall flat on their face and smash or whatever. So it's really important to actually design the boxes properly. And this would typically come down to an industrial design engineer at a company. And, you know, once a company gets large enough, they'll actually have an industrial type designer who might have like a mechanical engineering background, but more with a, you know, industrial uh, bent to it so well industrial design anyway in they're typically industrial design engineers who will design the packaging for stuff like this and it's not too fancy but it's kind of like it, it does the job and I think it does it well I haven't fully taken it apart yet but I realized once I took the first thing off anyway the first part of it is the packaging straps, and these, you know, typically boxes will come with the packaging straps uh, just for like, um, you shouldn't pick things up by the packaging straps because they can, there's joins on them that can actually break and stuff like that. Um, but this isn't just for that, for like uh, handling and things like that, for like uh, being able to pick it up and drag it around and potentially stop it opening if the tape comes off and things like that. It's for this uh, particular type of packaging for this TV, there's actually no bottom. There's no fixed bottom in this thing, as we'll see when we take it apart. So these packing straps that go right around the thing are actually holding the box together. There's no tape on the bottom, as we'll see. So uh, first thing is once you cut open this top part here, then bingo, this is just gonna lift straight off like that because you don't want the dumbass customer like laying this thing down flat or having to get a knife in there and cut it open, cut the box open or lay it down flat or whatever to try and get it apart. So first thing is, is that that just lifts off like that. Brilliant. There's, you don't have to cut any tape on the bottom. No mess, no fuss. So there's, see, Ta -da! there's no bottom in that box. Fantastic. So next up, you can actually cut off, uh, there's tape on the top here. I won't bother showing you up close and stuff like that. Anyway, there's tape on the top here, which then uh, gives you access to the, you know, like the stands and things like that. But we're not necessarily done yet. You'll notice these little three plastic clips down the bottom here. Now these are rather clever in that they come out. Now, try and show you this up close. Okay, whoop, here we go, focus you bastard, right? This pokes in there like that, and it, this is the outer part, and then that pushes in like that, and then clips these two, so the box is wedged in there, and it holds, there you go, it clips in like that, and you just squeeze it and pull it out like that. So these clips, you take them out, like this, very clever design, really like it, and there's three on the back, so I'll just take these off and Bob's your uncle. We've got six clips like that holding that together. As I said, there is no tape on the bottom of this box. So this one is going to lift up like this. Oh, we can actually take these off actually. So let's take those out. And then 
We should, rather than try it, because you don't want to be trying to lift out. I've seen people try to lift out the TVs like this or lay it flat and then try and pull it out like that. Do doesn't work. It's not designed to go like that. So you lift that off and bingo, look at that. Once again, as I said, there is no bottom in that. There's no tape at all. So that's really cool. And bingo, then you've got the foam. This is the back of the TV. I didn't know which was front, which was back. They got different depth, uh, different height foam padding because you want to, because there's all, all the electronics is down in the bottom and the TV tapers like that. So that's really cool. There's our remote and stuff. Oh, which batteries? Which batteries? Let's have a look. A what? Young, young Zhu battery. Um, yeah, I don't. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, so there you go. And look, this just comes off like that. Comes off like that. And bingo! Now you can get two people. Just oh, hang on. On the front side, we have some nice foam lattice. Look at that. Cool. I like that. So that is protecting the front um, LCD part, of course, because that's the that's the thing you worry about. You don't worry about like impacts on the back side. You know, it's just all metal. But on the front side, the LCD, you don't want that uh, to get any sharp impacts. So that lattice is a really nice way of actually reducing weight as well. You don't want a solid because you know it doesn't weigh much. But if this was solid, it would actually weigh more. And you know, every gram counts when you're shipping stuff around the planet. So. There you go, that's really quite neat. And there's very little wasted space in this uh, box either because you want to maximise the uh, space on your shipping uh, container. So, there you have it. That now can come out. I don't have a second person here, but that... Uh, here we go, I'm going to come... This is where you come a gutter. This is where Dave comes a gutter. Okay. So, you can now... Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I shouldn't be doing this. Should have a second person. But there you go. She's down. And now we can install the feet on the thing. And that there is the bottom. And you'll notice it's got those uh, holes in there for those uh, plastic clips that we saw. So that's the foam in the bottom. So there you go. That is the packaging for a 70 inch TV. Is it? Oh, wow. Look at this. All right, hang on. There we go. I'm going to come and guts it somehow. Ta-da! There it is. Looks intact. Haven't powered it up yet. Should I bother? Yeah, come on. Let's go. Hang on. Can't end this valuable video about packaging technology. <laughs> without actually powering it up. I know, I shouldn't power it up, I should take it apart before I power it up, but sorry, I'm back in the old lab. Don't have any tools to take it apart. Plug her in, switch her on. Oh, has it got a bloody power button? I don't think so. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. Hey, it works. Winner winner, chicken dinner. Power up tone there, power up music. What the heck? Uh, yeah. Five star, well, hang on, five out of six? Five energy star compliant? Um, this is like an Australian thing, that's probably equivalent in other um, countries, but uh, yeah, energy star compliant. So um, that's, anyway, there you have it. That is. The Kogan 70 inch TV, yes, which I am going to hopefully use for a video wall here. That's the plan. Jeez, that's taken forever to boot, isn't it? Bloody ridiculous. Probably got some uh, weird ass Android thing in it. And yeah, it's got like Chromecast built in and all sorts of stuff. So I don't know. Anyway, like, the, what the heck? Like, is this, is this what it does the first time you take it out of the box? I don't know. Uh -uh. Anyway. There you go. Hope you found that interesting. Simple, but really, you know, quite impressive uh, technology in, well, not technology, quite uh, impressive actual uh, design and attention to detail has gone into getting 
these uh, to ensure that you can take a TV and not only ship it, pack it with a minimum of space, but protect the TV and then have the user simply uh, <laughs> take, uh, take it apart without damaging the thing. So absolutely fantastic. As you saw it, uh, it uh, even once you take off the two outer boxes, it just free stands there in the bottom of that box. They've even thought about that. So it's, you could push it over, but you know, it's going to free stand there. And then you go, oh, easy. And you've got like that much room to have two people grab it and then take it off. Absolutely fantastic. So yeah, some industrial designer has really thought about, oh, there we go, English, yeah. Uh, anyway, some industrial designers really thought about that. So I think that's worthy of a video, worthy of a mention. There you go. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Catch you next time.